So what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Carlisa Victoria. I have on shorts, but this is a dress, and I'm just going to put it down. Yes, I have on shorts, so please don't think my dress was just propped up with no shorts. Um, but anyway, if you're new to my channel, then I want to say thank you so much for coming on here. If you've already been following me, then I want to say thank you so much as well. You guys probably just looked at the video that I just posted not too long ago about my wash and go, which is still going to dry on its own. You guys can see that? Part of me wants to just and put it in a pony. I'm trying to let it air dry as much as I can before I go to sleep. Even with me shaking it there, it's like a good percentage of it um, already dry. So anyway, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, why am I stopping product purchasing for a little while? Well, here's the reason. The only product that I'm actually going to probably re-up on when I run out of is going to be my extreme gel from the wet line, the blue gel. So basically, I decided that I'm not going to buy any more like hair products and things like that for a little while just because one, I am focusing more on investing and um, not buying unnecessary um, not buying unnecessary things, investing more, and focusing on what products are really, really good for my hair before I run out of those products. If you guys know me, then you know I love a good smelling product or I love a good working product. But my goal for my hair, hair growth is to finish out all of the products that I have. Now, I, in this video, I'm not going to show all of the products that I have, um, just simply because it would just take too long to sit here and go through all of my products. So with that being said, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be achieving wash and goes and styles and things like that using the products that I have. And like I stated, my main source of all of my hairstyles natural is probably going to be like the wet line gel or something so that's the only thing I'm really gonna re-up on in my deep conditioners but I'm using everything I have first before I go out and buy more of anything so I have like a lot of hair mask I have a lot of conditioners I don't have that many shampoos because I really don't shampoo my hair like that I do when it's necessary and it's when it when it's really dirty but other than that no nah. so basically that is what I'm going to end up doing and I decided that because if you guys look at my hair now, like if you look at it now, well, first of all, if you watched my video where I chopped this off, then you saw the heat damage that was on the end of my hair. And right now I had it like twisted to the side. So it's still drying, but that's kind of what I did earlier. So that's why that looks flat. It's, it was like a flat twist that's puffing up. But you guys can kind of see, no, I'm not going to do a full a full spin is still trying to dry but you guys see where my hair is right now and you guys can see that all the way through are straight curls like even if I didn't have products and it's like they're they're still curled all the way on the end you don't see any heat damage because I cut anything that looked like it had damage I cut which was mainly on the top from when I had leave outs um, middle part side part in my sew-ins recently I had a top half up half down hairstyle that was all great but the humidity the rain kept hitting the little bit of leave out that I had over this track I was over it I probably had that in my hair for almost three weeks but and I could have probably gone for like a month and maybe two months and just redid my pony but I was getting sick of every single day I have to hit it with heat you know like in the winter times it's like if I do Put heat protectant on my hair and I flat iron it I might be able to tie my hair up and get through two days or so with not the flattest leave out but with the most um, tied down leave out if that makes any sense so basically I decided that um, you know when I cut that top off I can't keep doing this to my hair like I cannot continue to keep putting that heat on the top of my hair so I said what am I gonna do I've already 
drink water, but I'm going to be upping my water game to, like yesterday I had over 100 ounces of water. Um, and I know they say you should drink half your body weight at least or something like that. So I was well over my 100 um, by drinking 100 something, 104 ounces of water yesterday throughout the day, of course. But yeah, I drink a lot of water. Um, but I'm going to be upping my water game because I know that upping my water game, like even if I drink that much water a day, because typically I don't drink 104 ounces a day. Typically I might drink, you know, five or six things of water. Well, I'm not going to lie. Hold on. That is about 100 ounces when you do the math of the type of bottles I drink. So I take that back. So I'm going to be doing a minimum of about 100 ounces of water every day. Um, and which is about somewhere between six to eight glasses of water. Um, because I want to clear my skin. As you guys can see, I get that hormonal breakout on my neck. And I also get the breakout, you know, a little bit on my face. And I think that there are a lot of sensitivities that I have to foods. Hence, I don't eat meat and things like that anymore just because I would get so sick off of it a lot. And um, there are some other things that I'm actually doing research on that I might have to cut out of my diet. So pretty much it's not going to be that much that I can actually consume because there's a lot that makes me sick. And there's also a lot that seems like it's affecting me in other ways. Like... So, I think I'm going to be cutting down on some more stuff very soon, which I'll make a video about that at some point. But basically, you guys see my face. No shame in my game. Well, there's shame, the fact that it looks like this, but there's no shame in telling you guys about it. So, you know, I haven't put on no, any makeup or anything like that. Um, I'm going to wash my face tonight, do a deep cleanse um, face wash and you know just do my best to keep my hands off of my face do my best to um straight after the gym wash my face before my shower because i've been in the gym a lot and i know that when you have hair products and you have sweat and all of that on you it's just like it's so easy for it to affect your skin if you don't get to it right away so up in my face wash routines um drinking a lot more water and I'm using the products that I already have. Now, for me, hair growth is the goal. Whether I lock my hair back up or I keep it natural and I keep it curly like this, the goal is to have either big hair or super long hair. You know, um, so, you know, waist length or something like that. I'm not straightening my hair like I normally straighten it every three months. And I notice straightening or not straightening well I guess you have to straighten it a little bit for you to be able to cut it I normally cut my hair every three months and that's annoying because how do you see growth if you're always cutting so with that being said I'm not exactly sure when my last haircut date was but I'm gonna look in the archives to figure it out once I figure that out I am going to um make sure that I, I'm not gonna probably get my hair cut until at least a year from that date, maybe. Um, so, I don't know, it depends on how I feel. I feel like if I'm always taking care of my hair and my hair is going through natural treatments and things like that, then, and I'm, I'm moisturizing it and oiling it, then it might not be that much um, split ends that I experience because, you know, well, you're not straightening it, you're not putting any damage on it, so it might not need as much attention as someone who you know, but I was regularly cutting my hair. So how do you see growth when you're always cutting every few months? So I'm going to pause off of that. I'm going to up my water game. I'm going to up my skin routine. And yeah, I'm making sure I capture my in-between photos. Like when I have my wash and goes and stuff so that I can, when my hair grows, I can reference back and show you guys, well, look how my hair grew. Because it's going to grow if you do what you're supposed to do. It's when you don't do what you're supposed to do, sis, that it doesn't grow not a you no but anyway so that's why i'm stopping my products buying products save because natural hair products are expensive so savings is definitely going to be something also um needing to get through the plethora of products that i already have and then to also discover which products are really stepping their game up what do I like that has a lot of moisture? What do I like that has a lot of vitamins and proteins and things like that in the products? Because once I'm done, I want to limit my product collection 
or selection, collection or selection. And I want to find what is really working for me. Is it when I make my natural, well, obviously when I make my natural home deep conditioning remedies, those are going to stay in my routine because it gives me luster, you know, a nice shine, beautiful, great feel. So there's some things that I am going to keep in my diet that I do solo for my hair. But what products, what products will my hair scream for if I didn't have them anymore? That's what I'm going to be evaluating because once I get through all of those products that I have now, I'm only going to come back with a few products that are actually working because I think the less you do with your hair, the better. Obviously, we have natural oils, but I feel like if you can just leave your hair alone, drink your water, keep your hair hydrated, but don't be trying to put all these products in and doing all these extra styles and all of that, then I think that you will see more growth. Low manipulation, not as many products to weigh your hair down, water intake equals growth. Okay, so we will see how that goes. Um, I love my weave and I'm trying to debate if I'm only going to be rocking like ponies or what am I going to do when I want to wear my hair. Um, I know that I'm going to, when this grows back especially, I'm going to do a lot of sleek ponies um, but right now I can do a genie just because, you know, my hair can actually reach this part. But I don't know how I'm going to style my hair because it's almost like if I went back to a middle part sewing or something like that, that same middle part is going to be that hair that's going to get straightened. So I have a lot of thoughts. I mean, I can do a curly sewing if I would like to, but I part partially kind of want to just rock my hair simply because I feel like I got access to do it every week. You know, like I can deep condition every week. That's another thing. Deep conditioning is important and I know it. There's days I do it and there's days that I'm not consistently doing it weekly. In this hair growth process slash journey that I am embarking upon for longer, healthier hair, I am going to be deep conditioning as much as I can. Well, once a week is what I mean. And I want to see how that's going to improve the health and length of my hair. Because I know that when I do deep condition and things like that, I can I notice like a difference in my curls and the lusciousness of my hair. Like obviously it's trying to dry now. But don't worry about me, sis. Get you. Okay, I'm just playing. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. Um, so if you want to see how my hair is going to be turning out over time, then make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some wash and goes. I'm going to be doing um, just regular styling and things like that. But I'm going to try to lay low. I mean, I haven't straightened the rest of my hair like that. I don't be straightening it normally. However, that leave out is always part my leave outs are always the parts that get the straight hair that I have to cut so this is what your girl's hair looks like now I keep... sorry that's my chair I'm like missing a screw in my chair so it keeps squeaking but anyway this is what it looks like and I'm just going to leave it out for the remainder of the night so that it can like right up in here it's a little damp like you know from the gel but the underneath it's like a little bit drier but my roots aren't all the way dry is what i'm trying to say so thankfully i think that my hair is going to be completely dry before i go to bed and then i'll just probably pull it down into a low pony or a couple low ponies and re-moisturize it for tomorrow so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i went ahead and made this video while i was drinking my tea earlier just now I have already made a video for you guys. I'm a little bit more proud of myself than anything because literally you guys have no idea how I was feeling today and how I'm actually feeling now is just I'd rather get this footage out than to be sitting on footage and you guys could be seeing it. So yeah, hope you like this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and all of my info will be in the bio section below. So. I will see you guys in my next video. It's only a little something, but why does it feel like it's true something?